This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. I'm going to tell you guys something. Everyone knows by now that Gary Gensler is stepping down on January 20th, the day before the inauguration of Trump. And that is because he knows he will be fired. Okay, I thought he would resign sooner, but I'm just glad that he'll be gone and hopefully they put somebody in place who is going to enforce the rules of the market and protect retail investors, protect pension funds and protect institutions that follow the rules because Gary Gensler was not doing that. But here's the thing. That tells you how significant retail investors have been over the last four years. In the official press release, look behind me. In the official press release of Gary Gensler stepping down, they mentioned GameStop. Okay? They're not mentioning COVID. They're not mentioning all the other things that was going on in the world. They're mentioning GameStop. They're mentioning a mem stock in the press release. In the official press release, they're mentioning GameStop. That tells you how significant what we've been fighting for over the last four years has been. And the fight will continue. We are not going to give up until we get a fair and transparent market for all investors and the bad actors that have been naked shorting AMC, naked shorting GME, naked shorting NEO, naked shorting MMTLP, naked shorting MULN, are brought to justice. The fact that they mentioned GameStop in the press release, in my opinion, and this is my opinion, is huge. This is huge to me. This tells me the impact that retail investors are having on the entire stock market as a whole. And it tells me that our influence is growing. More and more lawsuits are going to be filed. You know, I have a few new ones planned. Based on the new things I've seen these bad actors do in the stock market. And we are going to hold them accountable. Their liquidity is going to run out. They're going to be forced to start covering their counterfeit short positions. And a lot of good companies are going to start trading at their real price. Not the manipulated price because of all the naked shorting the spoofing, the dog pool abuse, and all the other shenanigans that they engage in in order to rob and steal from retail investors, from pension funds, and from institutions that follow the rules. But once again, they mentioned GameStop in the official press release of Gary Gensler resigning. That tells you how much influence Retail investors have grown over the past four years. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think it's significant that they mentioned GameStop in Gary Gensler's press release? Anyway, have a great day. God bless and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.